All right, today we're going to do an unboxing of a measuring tool that I use for layout. I sell it on Amazon, and I, I really like the woodpecker design of their T-squares. Um, oh, you can do a lot of marking with them. And I saw this product on Amazon, and I want to see if I can find something that is comparable. It doesn't break the bank. So we're going to check this out today. It is a T-square. It is a replica of the woodpecker T-squares. And so, they flip this around. Right away, you can see it's... Well, that's pretty heavy right there. Uh, it's got six bolts. And a tool to put together. Nice brewer. Got markings. Markings, every quarter inch marking instead of eighth inch marking in between, but they're laid out every quarter inch so it's easy to see. Nice large number so you can see what you're marking out. Get this box out of there. So, like again, I said this is a kind of a woodpecker replica design. So, we'll take this apart and I'll show you how it's supposed to be laid out here. Took this. Looking at it and after a review of it, it only takes four bolts. They say the six, I guess just a cheaper to sound more than it is less. And we're going to put this thing together. You know, good. All we go, slide in. And I'm going to put them in a little loose at first, just enough to get them all lined up. And I'll slowly tighten them. Found them in a star pattern just to make sure because it gets pulled to square by how it's machining. Yep. And there are no other places for those two bolts. That's not threaded anywhere else. So I believe those are extra. So now what we're going to do is check it for square because if it ain't square, it's not worth using anyways. So, what I'm going to do is pull this aside, and I have a combination square that I know that is square. Checked it many times. So, I'm going to hold this flush to this surface, and I'm just going to make a mark. And that's about 10 inches. Well, so I know this is square. I've checked it many times, and we can check it again right now. And the way that you do that was that you hold it from one side, hold it to the other side, and draw a line. If you draw on the same line, it is your square. So we take this T, and we should be able to butt up to our line. Oh, I can see it right now. It's going to be it's perfectly square, and I can draw a 24-inch line with that, perfectly square. Now, the other thing that I wanted to be able to do with this is I wanted to be able to take a mark, so like three quarters of an inch, and be able to make that. See how I can just draw a line with that all the way across, and I'm three quarters of an inch off from it. I can come on out right to the eight inch mark and make a mark at eight inches. It sits up on top, so it keeps it from bibbling side to side, kind of like how you see my combination square. Oh, if I don't hold it up, see how it falls over? So it'll hold itself up and keeping itself square, keeping itself flush. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I bought this as a 24-inch, but I also bought this 12-inch. Just for some shorter layouts, easier to come. And so, one of the things I was curious about is if... I made a three-quarter inch mark there. I made a three-quarter mark for on this, but it'd be the same. Look at there. Exactly the same. I hit the eight-inch mark. And make it the same exact mark on it. I think this is a great tool. I think it'd be helpful in any shop to help lay out anything that you can do to make yourself more precise in the shop is something to get. And the cheaper you can get it, the better off you are. I, I always try to pick products that I can get that don't break the bank. So, that's my tip. 
I'll have links down below uh, if you need to be able to find these. Um, if, if you do, hit me up. Tell me how you like them. I like them a lot. I, say, I think they're going to be a really good addition to the shop. I'll catch you all on the next one. So, y'all have a good one.